I just want to give you a little bit of an introduction to Gift of Life because I understand we have a lot of new people here tonight. And uh, you need to understand why we're here and, and what we're accomplishing this evening. Gift of Life has been here through uh, a, a Rotary program for four decades. In 1975, Rotarian raised his hand in the Manhattan Rotary Club and said, let's help the kids in Uganda. And four decades later, 16,000 children from 67 countries around this world have been helped from Gift of Life. Now, you, may, you may find this hard to believe, but even though Gift of Life was founded four decades ago, it's a long time, people in this room aren't that old, we know that. Let me tell you why tonight is so special, and then I'm going to introduce our most special person here tonight. Why tonight is so special is because for years this is how Gift of Life has been able to fund helping those 16,000 children. By having people with good, caring hearts come together to help those children that have sick, ailing hearts. You know, tonight we sit here and we've already answered the prayers of thousands of parents around this world. Because whether you're a father in Kosovo, or a mother in Uganda, or an aunt in Haiti, the way you go and look for help for your child is that you pray. You pray someday that somebody's going to hear your prayer. You pray someday that somebody's going to come help you in a way that you never could have imagined. And you know what? Tonight you're answering those prayers. Thank you. 
we present Jody and Marty with this award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why? Because you have an organization here, a charity, where you can say you've directly saved lives. Dr. Belayda, where are you? Muscle. He's, he's here someplace. Thank you so much for what you've done for the Rotary. The Dr. Aslani, I know your presence here is special. Now, you know, this Italian-Albanian thing, I gotta explain it, because sometimes I'm introduced as Italian, sometimes as Albanian. But thank God, well, Albanians all know that I'm, my heart is Albanian for sure. I think my stomach is Italian. <laughs> but the thing is that my dad and mom were born in Italy, but my dad came from an Albanian-speaking village that was there for 500 years when the Ottoman Turks chased tens of thousands of Albanians in the year 1488 into what was then the Kingdom of Naples. So my father came here in 1929 speaking two languages, and one was in English, Albanian and Italian. And when I became a congressman, because I was raised in the Arthur Avenue section of the Bronx, I thought my father was speaking a dialect of Italian. I didn't know it was Albanian. He didn't have the education to tell me about Albanian history. But boy, when the Albanians found out that my family spoke Albanian as well as Italian, they lobbied me day and night by house and in North Shell, my office, and I learned about the plight of these poor Albanian people. Seven million in the Balkans, unfairly divided into six different countries, besides, you know, Albania, which almost didn't exist except for Woodrow Wilson. You want to know why the Albanian people? Dr. Muslim, you know that, for Lego. They love America. Woodrow Wilson saved the Albanian nation. And then George W. Bush saved the soul. I heard all those fancy towns you mentioned, Ossini, uh, Briarcliff, uh, what, what else? You, Shop 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 Can I give you a few other towns? Sure. Let's celebrate. It's got over 100 Albanians in the store. Would you mind if I tell you where they come from? You have the board here of the Albanian American Civil Union. You have Zep Balai from the northern part of Albania. Merdita, Bukis, Tef, Lina. Then you have George the new guy from Bob Tuzi. No, Tuzi. Tuzi. That's in Montenegro today. Imagine you got Albanians in Montenegro, Macedonia, Serbia. You got them in Greece and you got them in Montenegro. You know, they should be all in one state, but forget that. We're not going to change the board. Now, we also got on the board, you got Agamal guy from Dejan. You got Hafi Shala from Pristina. You got... Uh, Arslan Chekai from Plavuzi on the board. We got Rifat Mameti from Gostova, that's in Macedonia. We got my brother Richard who comes like me, my father from Italy, the Arbresh. Don't forget the Arbresh Albania, right? We say that language. The Ottomans wanted to destroy the Albanian language. It was the monks in Italy, Arbresh, Italian Albanians, that saved that language. Right? Okay. Now, who did I forget? One more here. We got, uh, well, we got Father Devron, the new president from Fort of Prep. He's not Albanian, but he wishes he was. <laughs> hey, look, Father. Now, I, I graduated Fort of Prep in 1958, and Seth Bali has two sons that graduated Fort of Prep, and now we're getting in many more of those poor Albanian kids in the Bronx that are bright to become part of Fordham, Fordham Prep. Why? Education is where you then develop yourself and your Albanian dreams. In any case, my family, 
Shirley, come over here. Where would I be for Kosovo without Germany? For all the Jews, United, United Nations, oh, excuse me, because they are in nations. You know, Albania saved every Jew in Albania, and another 3,500 that were lucky enough to escape across Yugoslavia into Albania. Surely told that story. Okay. And I got the rest of my family there. But, you know, yeah. My sister Angel, my brother Dick, their spouses Tony and Lou, and who else we got here? My family, son John. No longer as Congressman of the Air Force. She was a judge in American Idol. Thank you. God bless you.